Welcome to the tutorial on the train strategy by OTG. So what does this strategy consist of? The strategy consists as a basic overview, Mirage, Dragoon, Raven, Bastion, and Satoshi. Now because this tutorial is going to start off as a general overview of the strategy, we're going to be giving a quick overview of each of the characters on the team and their primary ro role. Starting off, we have Raven, which is a no-brainer. They're the scanner of the team. Primary role of Raven, as I said, is to scan and is to help support the team in any way possible in general. Next, we have Bastion, tip of the spear of the strategy. You have a shield and you're a tank. You have to be, and you are, and you're the front charging man of the strategy. Next, we have Goon, also a really strong tank. You are, you are, your main primary role is speed. You're a speedy tank. You're bashing second-hand man support, and you're able to speed the team up together. We got Mirage. She is also she, the long ranger of the team, able to fire back on on mirages and other things when the team is uh, being fired upon upon long rangers and giving the team that extra speed boost on top of Dragoon's awesome speed boost. And Satoshi, a high d damage dealing unit who's able to team heal the team for basically invincibility and able to put up a strong shield in case of emergency scenarios. So delving right into gameplay here, as soon as the round starts, you want to move as fast as possible. You have the Dragoon boost, which should be able to help you. Uh, and then as soon as the Raven scans, if you see it's randoms, one random, it usually probably means everyone else is a random. Then you can just split up and kill everyone as fast as possible. I'm pretty sure you guys are OTGs. You guys should be good enough to kill randoms. Otherwise, damn, you probably need to improve on your skill level if you're if you're not if we're losing to randoms. But if it is, yeah, just move as fast as possible and try and kill everybody. Try and get the round done so we can get on to another real round. Now, some quick tips for right off the bat: you're gonna want to, well, as you're moving as fast as possible. If you're the Satoshi, you see me I, as I can. I'm trying to grab the team heal as quickly as possible because. Once you're able to grab the team, the, your, the team will be relying on your team heal a lot. If you're a Bastion, you just want to move forward and basically charge because in most situations you will be charging. The only things that you won't be charging are Satoshi or Blood Shields. Now here we're going to get an introduction on some real teams that we're going to fight. As you see here, I'm Satoshi picking up team heal. Team is moving fast, we get hit, but I pull out the team heal. As you can see, the Mirages are trying to, trying to hit us, but they're not able to deal any damage. And because we moved as fast as possible and hit the Mirages really quickly, the bot team wasn't able to do much and we quickly killed them. Now here it's another demonstration of sewers. Uh, we're able to move fast, move up. I'm going to slow this clip down. As you see, I'm able to pick up the team heal. Mirage is shot, so they're trying to hide. Wait for the tanks to come in, who have already sh shielded and are able. Dragoon is jumping in on them, trying to throw in the back. And Bastion, as you can see, charging out my screen, is going in for the kill really fast. And then, as you can see here, that Mirage has already died right off the bat. And that an Angel and Raven are getting pressure against the wall. We're chasing them down and they're not able to do much. And that is where... And now here we have, who is it? It's just one Mirage left. Even though Simple dies, we're able to finish as fast as possible. And that is how you end the game off. This was MS Mirage Flank Team. And yeah, speed and power really helped us beat this team. Now as we can see here, we are at factory this time. And then moving fast, I'm picking up the team heal. Bit behind on the team, but, uh, but the team's still moving forward without me. As we can see, already scanned, you can already see it's Kingsman Flank Team. And you can see Bastion is moving out of the screen and they're all going up and going in for the kill. Without the team heal and confidence, they're able to move fast, push them back, and able to crush the, the, the Kingsman team quick and fast. And then here's another demonstration of us moving in, moving fast, because we're able to putting my shield up just for defensive matches, team heal up, and able to kill them right before they even have a chance to react. And as you can see quickly, we're able to finish the game off without a struggle. And then here we enter, we see it's another flank team. I'm trying to hit my shots. But as you can see, I'm missing every single shot with Satoshi, and I've wasted my whole clip not even able to hit somebody. 
But on the other hand, I have a good team with me who's able to go in, go for the kill, everyone's sticking together, and fin quickly finishing the, the game off. And here we have, as we enter another round, <coughs> skin, and we can already see it's Mirages. Elf is in the front and immediately gets killed. I get shot once as well, which isn't very nice. Our Dragoon is in the very back, so T Slong isn't, Bastion isn't able to go up. And that doesn't provide enough cover fire, so I die. Mirage is also dead, charging in by themselves. And the team split up, which led to an eventual loss. <coughs> Here we can see it's factory. So we scanned on the right side. There's nobody. I'm picking up my team heal. We're moving up. T Slong probably should have shielded by now uh, for a modern situation since we have to deal with Slayers. So we can see we're already engaging in battle. I place my shield up on a defensive hold and place my team heal up. The tanks are going in with the team heal and crushing everybody. As you can see, the team heal allows the Bastion to kill two Bastions by himself. And we quickly finish off the game against a tank team, which is nice. <coughs> Here we have another quick engagement. We're moving up. I'm grabbing my team heal. The Dragoon is a bit slow, so he uses the jump to try and catch up. And as we can see, it's pro Simple has probably told us by now it, the Mirage is sort of by now it's tanks. They already have their team heal, and then we already have our team heal up. And then as you can see, the Bastion is eating shots for me because I'm not as strong. But because he has the team heal, he's invincible. And we're able to mow through them all down because of our just pure team heal. Which is really nice. And which leads to a quick and nice victory. Here we are on another dungeon map. I'm able to pick up a team heal quickly. I place my shield up quickly, realizing it's a tank team. As you can see, the bat I've already placed my team heal. Everyone is charging in together, and they are. Although they're trying to hit, shoot at this, go at the Satoshi shield, which doesn't work out. I try to charge at the Bastion, but it doesn't work out, so I die. And there we go. We lost three of our shields, and that leads it to the Mirage and the Ra Raven, which can't do anything. And which is basically well, what not to do but we lost our own team so at least we don't get screenshotted <laughs> here we are fighting our own team again here we are as we can see bastion charging shield not good dragoon jumpy in over the satoshi shield dying our mirage is, i don't know what it's doing trying to go for a long flank but gets wrecked and then now here we are down to to the two of us which isn't very nice but we try to hold it down and they're not able to charge at us because i have my satoshi shield up and we wait, we wait, we wait, waiting, waiting, and then here they are. Now, as you can see here, they charge again, but this time, I have a Satoshi shield. Hot fuck backs up which, and baits him, which is a good idea. And as they jump into my shield, I'm able to go through their shield and kill them. Our raven sometimes dies in the background, but at the end, we killed the goon and the bastion off, and we lost our raven. And then we try to retreat. But because we're out of resources, they just finish it off. As we can see here, we have a Rambo Mirage, you can see in the background. Jumpy in middle. Don't know what the hell he's doing. This is what you should be doing as a Mirage since you're supposed to be a team player. Our Mirage instantly dies because he has no backup. And I already got shot once, which wasn't really nice. And because of that, our team hesitates a bit. And we die. Which is why this is a team playing strategy. Here I am picking the team heal up. We don't see who it is. And then the Bastion hesitates, which he shouldn't be doing. Which also lets to me getting shot once. But now the Bastion is now not hesitating anymore and charging, which is good. And with the team heal up, they aren't able to shoot or do jack shit to us. And we crush most of them. Now you see Freddy kill the Mirage. Not very really nice, but we still kill it. And now we just go and look for the last person. Here we are in another situation where the Bastion showed it up late. But either way we have the team heal and this is only team with the tank team. And then we move through them and quickly kill them. Another easy win. <laughs> and here we are. As you can see I'm playing a defensive Mirage. And they're not able to kill me. As you can see I'm trying to stick behind the team as a Mirage. I'm trying to use, I'm trying to stay behind the tanks. Stay around the team heal, and we're able to quickly kill off this random team. Here we have where it just looks like random, so we just peer speed through them and crush them before they're able to do anything. And then here we have 
the raven making a funny move, but they do not finish them off. Here we are, it's another flank team as you can see here. I don't know what the Satoshi is doing, but as you can see he's trying to charge an angel through the little crack. Same thing over here with the raven, as you can see on the kill board, they both die for stupid reasons which I don't know what, uh, just kind of on them. And eventually, War Dragoon split off from Bastion as well which wasn't really nice, and we, which leads to our eventual loss, which wasn't very nice. Although, at the end of the day, the strategy does rely off teamwork, train strategy, once everyone knows what we're doing, Wave with Rocket, I know you guys are all good, you guys are all OTG, there's a reason why you are in only the greatest clan. Now, I hope you guys were able to learn something, if you have any hard time, feel free to come to ask me questions, and I should be able to release some more videos soon, on each character specific, and I hope this video was able to help. And, just remember, Teamwork makes a dream. You know they call me whenever they want something done. I get it, get out like a champion. Got my armor on and I'm marching into anything No fear, no pain, I can take the heat I'm calling for speed.